Welcome everyone to the NBA on 2K Sports. With Steve Kerr and Clark Kellogg, this is Kevin Harlan. Doris Burke will be along too from the sideline. It's Indiana facing the New York Knicks. Mario Stoudemire is back. It's good to see him healthy and ready to go. You know what, Kevin? It's quite cool for us to be here for his first game back. And I'll tell you something else. Any fears they had about his injury having ill effects on the team were swept aside pretty quickly when they began to play so well without him. They really didn't suffer in his absence very much at all. No, but they sure are happy to have him back because I'm not sure how long that run would have lasted uh, with his talent missing from this lineup. Now all of a sudden you've got him returning. You've got a team that already has some confidence. It's a pretty nice recipe for this team to go on a nice roll right now. We've got a chance here to set the floor courtesy of Gatorade all fueled up and ready to go for this one. On the court for Indiana. Down low, Weston Hibbert. Kobe is out there with Tony Parker. And it's Jordan in at the small forward position. So the Indiana Pacers able to put the first points up on the board. Hardaway kicks to Jackson. Six on the shot clock. Stoudemire with a screen on Parker. Here's Jackson. The shot misses. Good D by Parker. And so it's Indiana with it. Outplayed in the previous game on their schedule, losing to Chicago. I didn't like the defensive game plan they had going into that one. It just seemed out of whack. The matchups were wrong, and they didn't bring the energy necessary either. You know, it was befuddling to me why they stuck with that, Steve. I mean, they dug themselves a hole, and then they didn't make the changes they should have to get out of it. They didn't make any good adjustments there. Next move. Two. And we're about a minute and a half into the first quarter. Kobe sets the pick for Parker. Hibbert with a screen on Hardaway. Parker passes to Hibbert. Hardaway with the steal. Outside Jackson. Stoudemire dishes to Hardaway. Passes to Jackson. Feeds to Stoudemire. Rocket six. Here's Seymour. And down it goes, jamming that one home. And that's how you exploit a gap in the D, I guess. Huh? Yes, sir. No soft <laughs> finish there. Major power. Ah, he knows an opportunity for the highlight reel when he sees one. Now here's Bryant. 14 points from him the last game against Chicago. Well, some weak defensive coverage there, and I'm pretty sure they didn't plan on starting this game out like that, giving such easy access to the rim. Jackson against Parker. Over to the left wing. And Hibbert with the block. And here in the first, approaching three minutes played. West with the ball. Now Stoudemire defending. Pulls from the top of the key. And Kobe the bucket with the assist from West. Kobe's got his first basket. He's such a well-rounded offensive player. He's got a little bit of everything. Jackson kicks to Stoudemire. Seymour covered by Hibbert. Here's Seymour. Roy Hibbert with the rebound. Pacers leading by four. Guys, we've seen some excellent offensive output. Yes, sir, fellas. They've had it going on big time. Big time is right, Clark. A lot of momentum here offensively. And that one's good. Pretty impressive. Five straight makes to start this game. For New York, they've gone two of six on the field. Clark, they've been looking out of sync offensively. You know what? A basket here would do a lot for their confidence. Into Stoudemire. It's stolen by West. Outside Jordan. From the arc. That's good. And it's Bryant with the assist. That's seven points for Jordan. Boy, they've gone on this run, and ball movement has been a big key. Yeah, they have the defense on the run right now because every pass seems to have a purpose. They're getting great movement, great spacing, and they're really lining them up defensively. Hey, listen up. We got to push the ball, all right? First thing we got to do is rebound. And then I want everybody getting out. Feel the line. All right, let's go over to the sideline with Doris Burke. During that break, Coach Rivers had some words for his team. He immediately addressed their offensive game plan and detailed an aggressive up-tempo style. It sounds like their offense game. He focused next 